Four years ago, dirty water contaminated with lead started flowing from Flint's taps, causing sickness and death, while officials denied there was a problem. When we're dead and gone, these children will suffer for what we failed to do. Now, officials insist the water is safe to drink, but residents don't trust them. The state of Michigan has stopped providing free bottled water to Flint, forcing people to spend thousands of dollars on water to drink, cook, bathe, and even flush the toilet. My name is Joshua Harris, founder of the JH Foundation. I started the What Are You Doing movement, and with the help of my friends and family, I was able to raise over $400 to help relief efforts in Flint, Michigan. My wristbands mean a lot to me. I always wear two, one on each hand. One says JH Foundation, and the other side says What Are You Doing? Um, yeah, I think they're really cool. You know, they glow in the dark. Um, that was like a little spice to it, and they really mean a lot to me. Um, the foundation is self-titled because I feel like I was going to work harder with something that has your name on it. Because like if you're doing a group project and you're helping someone else on it and it doesn't have your name on it, it's not your grade. You're not going to try as hard as if it was actually your grade. So it's self-titled. So I would put everything, my heart and my soul into this work. In my ninth grade year, I actually heard lyrics in a song. It was said, color of morning pee coming out of the sink. It's 2016, who would think? kids in America don't have clean water to drink. And that really like resonated with me. I already knew about the crisis, so it just like reignited um, my passion for it in ninth grade. So like it was always in my mind. So I first heard about the Flint water crisis around 2015 on Instagram. I saw a lot of people posting about it. And I don't know, I just saw pictures of the water and stuff. It looked pretty, you know, nasty. Uh, I first heard about the water crisis, I think from a news channel, I'm not sure which one. It was around 2015, around there, middle of 2015. In my 10th grade year, I found myself supporting athletes at Michigan State. I'm a fan of their sports teams. Um, Miles Bridges and Gerald Holmes, um, two of my favorite players, I actually talked to them, got in contact with them. They're really nice guys. And I sent um, Gerald wristbands. I never had the chance to send Miles wristbands, but yeah. So I came in contact with them. And then my 11th grade year, that's when I actually ordered the wristbands. So like, that's when I actually talked to the guys and that's when I said, okay, Joshua, this is like, you're going to do something in the world. You're going to make change. Can't, ch there's another quote I like, you can't change the world unless you change yourself. So, you know, I changed myself, ordered the wristbands with the help of my mom and led the movement. Having the chance to talk to Gerald, it was a really cool experience looking up with him, um, picking his brain a little bit. Um, but yeah, it really be, made me feel like special knowing I actually like talked to someone that like, was a victim with the water crisis. He has family members affected and stuff like that. So like me thinking about like how I helped his family members and stuff get water and stuff like that, that really, that really inspired me. And it makes me want to do some more change and continue helping people get clean water all around the world. Can you tell me about like your personal experience with like, with the crisis and stuff? Um, yeah, I just, you know, um, it's been, been, you know, obviously currently in staying with Flint, um, I kind of got family all over Flint, you know, kind of scattered out. So, um, I mean, me personally, I wasn't like a fake friend, like me drinking or anything. But uh, I was, you know, like going to a certain family holiday, aunties or, you know, um, cousins and stuff, you know, unable to use the water. So a lot of times it's just um, a lot of water bottles and also my grain now, like, you know, it kind of affects you mentally because now you don't even want to drink out the faucet or, you know, really cook with the water in the faucet besides wash your dishes. So, like, you know, we have cases of water bottles, you know, um, all in it. So, the garage, you know, and every day, you know, I got to bring a new case in, you know, and refill the refrigerator. So, um, in that aspect, you know, it definitely changed, the, uh, you know, the fact that kind of like, you know, everybody house that I go over now is kind of just everybody drinking water bottles. Because, you know, even if the people, even if people water bottles, you know, it's kind of, you know, nervous and kind of skeptical about using the, um, so this is where we got a lot of donations and stuff you know you see all the people sitting around lunchtime and stuff we got a lot of donations we got a love we got a lot of support and this is where basically everyone came together um out of the three magnet programs at my school the cba ib everyone came together for me and i really felt special because we raised a lot of money in it 
meant the world to me. To have everybody in my school come together for my cause and to meet new people um, dedicated to support and raise money for Flint, it made me feel re really special and realize that this was way bigger than me. The magnet program I'm in at my school, um, I have the water you doing on my square because it really meant a lot to me and that I really think that def that's the definition of me in high school. It's like the, the high I hit in high school. So um, it's gonna be here with next to my name in the hallway forever. So I really think it's really cool. Um, to have what are you doing represented on my senior square, you know, that's really big to me. It's gonna be in the CBA hallway of program I love and it's gonna be there forever. So that's gonna be next to my name forever and it, it lives forever. And I really, I really stand for that. Another big part of the movement of why we raised $400 is a lady named Carissi in Virginia. Um, I actually sent some to an NBA player named Kyle Kuzma. He was like, send me some. And then like a bunch of people were like asking, oh, how can I donate? Where can I donate? And this lady named Carissi, she messaged me. She was like, oh, how much ready did you raise so far? I was like, oh, $150. And then I checked the PayPal with the donations and I see $150 from Carissi. So like, you know, I had to send her a bunch of wristbands. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. She told her friends about it too. Got a little more money from that. And I sent her like a bunch of wristbands. I still talk to her now. Um, when I was, I actually mentioned her in a article cause she was like a really big part. Like we don't get $400 if it wasn't for her cause we actually exceeded the amount of donations. We had 200 wristbands and the wristbands were $1 each. So she matched everything we had and we got excessive donations from like plenty of people. So that's why the main part we were, we were the main reason we raised $400. Another person that inspired me um, was Kyle Kuzma. I'm a Lakers fan, so when they drafted him, I followed him on Twitter. I saw Flint. This was like way before I had the wristbands and such. So I'm a diehard Lakers fan. So when I started the foundation, I was like, Kyle, I have to like I have to send Kyle some wristbands. He's from Flint, along with all the other athletes that inspired me as well. So I go on Twitter. I send a tweet out to him. I tell all my friends, Oh, tag Kyle Kuzma. Tag Kyle Kuzma. So one day I'm just in class, I'm in t television production, my favorite class, and everyone's blowing me up on Twitter and I'm just doing work, work for my class, you know, like a, like a good student. And then I check my phone, my whole Twitter's blowing up. Everyone's like, oh, check your phone, check your phone, Kyle Kuzma tag you. And then like, yeah, so I sent, I sent the response to the facility and um, that's, that was it. It's clean water is very important for people, obviously, because like their health, like dirty water can have and great bad effects on your health, obviously. And having clean water would just make life easier, pretty much. It's important to be aware of the situations all around the world because water is a basic human right, and I think everyone deserves to have fresh water. Yeah. But yeah, you don't have to be special to do this. To make change, all you have to do is just be passionate about something, find something you identify with. I mean, I believe water is a human right and everybody should have clean water. So I think this is really special because I'm an American. So taking care of my other fellow Americans to make sure they have clean water, that meant like the world to me. So like, that's why I stuck with this. And I plan on doing more missions in the, in the future. Um, it doesn't, I'm not gonna stick to water. I could get water for people in like, maybe like Africa, third world countries, any, any, anywhere that places need water, I'm, I'm gonna try to help people get water in those places.